Look at me, everyone. Look at me. I mean, only a little bit. I, I, the tiny. Actually, you know what? Where's the button? I have a button for this. <gasps> I'm a big bricky now. Look at this. Look at this. It's it's 60 frames, not 30. Just... You can see all the hand motions. There's not there's not a single hand motion that you can't see. It's just all those frames. So unfortunately, the colors aren't as good right now as they should be. So anyway, hi, my name is Bricky. How are you doing today? Uh, it's preseason. I got a lot. I should talk about. I got a lot to talk about today. But mainly, I got a new camera. It is a Canon XA30 in which it can now produce complete 60 frames per second camera quality to go along with my 60 frames per second videos. And there's no battery requirements. So I never uh, like swap it out. Most importantly, it runs pretty much everywhere I want it to. So it's also 60 frames per second when it comes down to good old streams as well, which makes me very excited and very, very happy. And I guess I should buy a Doran shield. I'm actually getting really sick and tired of everyone trying to invade so early on. I'm still fucking around with the white balance a little bit. As you can see, the colors aren't as vibrant as they normally should be right now. It's a little bit of a weird kind of like, kind of, kind of, what we got a little washed out currently, but once we get all my white balance fixed and make it look really nice, then we can we can get some good shit. Everyone tries to do this insane amount of what's it invasions, and it never ever seems to work until we can get this damn. Come on, go Nami, go Nami. Give him the bubble. Anyway, I'm still new and not quite used to doing camcorders quite yet or anything, so I'll, I'll get there eventually. But for now, enjoy the 60 frames per second forehead gameplay. So, preseason is here. And it's already gone downhill. It hasn't even started yet and shit has already gone down downhill. So, preseason is here. And that means everything is insane and ruined. Everything's ruined. Everything is fucked. Every champion is stupidly overpowered. Everything is destroyed. And honestly, I could not be happier because it is just completely re-engaging my love for the game. Unfortunately, I can't- wow, that had more range than I thought. Unfortunately, I can't seem to get any CS right now because I was stuck in that stupid invade fiasco going on down there. But overall, Wow. It's pretty damn great for everything to be back and doing its fun times, you know? We're back into preseason where everything is so fucked up. Everything is so broken. Good old Talon is completely unbalanced once again. Because Talon is always the one that becomes unbalanced for whatever reason that might be. Oh my god, Warwick. Do you actually need me? Why would you flash a Twitch? That's awkward. Hey! I flashed the Twitch. This Warwick, I think I'm I think I'm done with you. So basically, if you're a hyper carry, you're a god right now. Tristana, god. Fucking Talon, god. Zed, god. Akali is pretty godly as well if I can go ahead and, you know, get my CS back after getting uh, shoved out by this Vigar because Vigar is, you know, got all that extra CS because that stupid invade in the beginning, but you know. Soraka and Karma, broken, of course. Twitch, broken. Hecarim, kind of broken. Kleptomancy, broken. Everything's broken. But this is what preseason is. This is what preseason has always been. Everything is ruined. Everything's broken. Everything's ruined. Everything's fucked up. That's just preseason in a nutshell. But don't get me wrong. Wow, it's fun. Notice how the Twitch is already 3 and 0 after counter jungling our Warwick to an excessive degree. Oh boy, now Twitch has 4 kills. Go get him, Warwick. Kill him. Kill him dead. He flashed on me, so you should be fine. Right? Okay, good. Oh dear. I'm coming, Warwick. Understand that I have no idea what I can and cannot do in this situation. Yeah, there really wasn't anything I could do about that situation. Stupid Karthus. We could have gotten him. Oh my god. It would appear that I cannot still do Akali things. So far, the preseason has made it incredibly fun to play League of Legends again in the game. 
part of it. There are some serious gripes that I currently have with what League of Legends has become, specifically when it comes to earning blue essence and stuff. So of course, with IP being completely gone, all that stuff being moved over to blue essence, they have to go ahead and adjust the values of blue essence. And there are certain things that I simply do not understand when it comes down to well, the essence and the essence shop and, and what specifically costs essence and how you get essence. Most specifically, the how you get essence part. I do appreciate preseason though, because it's a great scapegoat. You know, I can suck total ass, but I can use preseason as a way to, uh, <laughs> to, to make up for it. So, of course, before with IP, you were able to go ahead and get IP every single time you played a game. It wasn't much. It was like 50-something. You got a little bit extra for, uh, you know, for winning the first game of the day. But overall... Okay, now as far as I know, you don't get blue essence from playing games anymore. What I did get is when I leveled up to level 31, I got a little like honor capsule basically. I think it was an honor, or just a capsule. And inside said capsule was exactly four champion shards, which is more than most apparently. I forget who exactly they were, were or how much they were worth, but I got some amount of blue essence from disenchanting those champion shards. So here's the part that gets me. It wasn't a shitload of blue essence. It wasn't a small amount, but it wasn't a lot, you know? And oh my god, there's a shit going down mid lane. I shall continue this thought as soon as I do some killing. So let's say I got about a thousand blue essence from that, okay? And a thousand blue essence with that amount of champions, maybe a little bit too high, maybe a little bit too low, depending on the champions you got. You know, were they 6,300 champions? Were they 450 champions? Whatever it was. If I played 10 games, to get 1,000 blue essence, that's 100 blue essence each, uh, in order to level myself up to level 31, of course. You see, the issue I have... Oop, I should go by Hextech Gunblade. The issue I have is the fact that it's incredibly unsatisfying. Now, if Riot wants to make it, I forget the exact amount of percentages, but I think they said around 35% uh, harder or take longer in order to get every champion in the game... If they want to do something like that, they want to make it take longer to get everything because they want to push a business model. I can understand that. Riot is a company. They want to make money. That's their entire point. I get that. Warframe does the same thing. I have to wait five days uh, in total to get Valkyr Prime made. Or I could spend a teeny bit of money and get Valkyr Prime immediately. I, I, I get that. I get that idea. It's so ridiculously unfun to do. I would so much rather have exactly a hundred blue essence every single game and go ahead and get the same amount of blue essence than I would for the actual capsule by leveling up. Hey, what's up? Auto, please. There we go. I'm gonna die, but... Oh. 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 Oh my god. I would much rather get a hundred blue essence for ten games than get a thousand blue essence, possibly RNG based, from a capsule after ten games. It's less rewarding. See, this is the, the thing that I never really understood is you could be showering us with tiny little bits of blue essence as the game goes by. Think of it something like the new Doom game, right? In the new Doom game, they just give you weapon upgrades like they're fucking candy. If you do anything, you get weapon upgrades. Kill ten enemies, weapon upgrade, you know? Go find this one thing, get a weapon upgrade, get a token for weapon upgrade, suit upgrade. They gave you that shit so much but the weapon upgrades weren't really that good, you know? Most of them were kind of shit, with the exception of, like, the micro-missiles. So if you just give me so much stuff, but eventually that shit isn't even that worth it, it cancels itself out. It's a simple shit you can do, you know? Every killer assist, you get one more blue essence, win a game, 20 blue essence, lose a game, 10 blue essence, win of the day, 20 blue essence. Like, make the blue essence amounts you get for playing minimal, but just shower with that shit, because it makes it enjoyable. It cancels itself out. If you still want to make it, let's say, 20% harder to get champions or whatever, if that's what you want to do, because, yes, runes are no longer a thing, so you'll only be spending it on, on mainly champions, and you also will be spending it on fucking uh, mastery levels, which I think is pretty stupid, but... If you want to be a company, and I literally just walked right into his thing right there, I feel pretty dumb. If you want to be a company, like companies are, and you want to make money, you want to make it a little bit harder, that's fine, but at least make it rewardable. At least make it enjoyable, you know? People enjoy grind. Not everyone enjoys grind, but some people do enjoy grind. And if you want that, sure, but don't make it boring. 
Don't make it unfun. If the amount of blue essence you get is shit, but you shower us in it, you cancel both problems. Overall, with the start of the preseason, the game itself is so stupidly broken, like every preseason is, that it has become fun again. The amount of theory crafting and builds and all that fun stuff is awesome and super cool to see. But the act of leveling up, purchasing things, and all that kind of rewards, rewards specifically, are horrible. And they need a complete overhaul. The system is broken. I don't know what they're doing with Orange Essence, but I think they're nerfing it of some kind. Or they did nerf it, where like you don't get as much anymore. The system is not fun. I can understand why, but it's not enjoyable. See, that's one thing that makes Warframe so addicting. You get so much shit. So much shit. Like, oh my god, he died. But you get just so much stuff. You get showered in resources and materials and, and, and parts of this, that, and the other thing. You just... There's so much stuff. Does most of it matter? Not really. But that's not the point. Oh boy, here we go. We got shit going down. Uh, just, just give me a moment. I'm gonna... Excuse me. Th thank you. I'm just gonna kill you. Oh my god! I lied. I wasn't gonna kill you. 458 AP. Vigar, 23 minutes. Did the op... Oh my... Jesus. Point being, I enjoy... Mm, point being... The gameplay section of the game is completely insane right now, but you've made it a hell of a lot more fun, and I like theory crafting builds. That's awesome. I don't like what you've done to the Blue Essence system. I would prefer if you took a look at that, and seeing as a way to, for you as a company, to keep what you want to do with it, but make it more enjoyable for the consumer. Anyway, that's my take on this whole thing. I kind of want to discuss that a little bit. I also kind of felt like making a video with this new camera and all. I, I need to fix the colors. The white balance is a little off. And by a little off, I mean it's pretty off. But anyway, I'm going to try to get some items on Akali. She scales insanely with the new uh, masteries and, and everything. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and see if I can get that stupid Vigar killed sometime soon because that'd be pretty fun. By the way, if you run a Kali, make sure you run the Sudden Impact. Since she's a hybrid champion, the lethality and magic penetration you benefit both from. With every single ultimate cast, it's pretty good. So, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I'm going to try and get some more videos out as this new camera comes in because there's going to be a lot fewer problems that I'm going to have when it comes to recording thanks to this new thing. And past that... I hope you have a fantastic day. I saw that Twitch. That Twitch is there. There's a Twitch on its way. Heads up. Heads up. Heads up. Oh my good golly. What the hell? Okay, never mind. Bye-bye.